Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to the show. We are so excited to have Latasha Henry joining us here today live on the podcast and Zoomcast. She's the founder of Empowerment Journey based out of West Olive, Michigan. She's here to talk today about, well, the safe place she makes for individuals dealing with depression. So from coaching to different modalities, she's here to help really empower you. Uh, Welcome to the show today. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Well, pleasure for you to be here. Latasha, would you mind just introducing yourself to our listeners to start? Yeah, so um, I am Latasha. I am am an author, motivational speaker, podcaster, um, and founder of Empowerment Journey and Empowering You. Beautiful. And you're based out of Michigan. Do you, I know you're working with people though all over with Zoom, right? Correct. Yeah. So I am um, located in Michigan, but um, my counseling um, and my program and stuff is um, global wide. I'm actually just got an award from Who's Who Global, um, so Congrats. that's pretty exciting. Thank oh, you. That's great. Well, tell us, do you have a website? How can we contact you? Um, yes. So um, if you um, go to Women's um, National um, Entrepreneurs Network, um, you will be able to um, reach me there. Perfect. And on social media, can we find you? Or could you give us a phone number? Okay. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So I do have um, a Facebook, um, which is Latasha Henry. Um, and then you can call at 260-901-0283 um, and, you know, set up a free consultation. Um, we are taking on um, new clients for the program right now. So. Perfect. Well, first and foremost, before we find out a lot of the services that you offer, I would love to get your background story. Would you mind sharing a little about where you're from and give us you know, a little bit of your life and, and what brought you here down your own journey to now have you start doing this and helping so many with empowering them and again, um, you know, helping those with uh, mental health? Yes. So I um, grew up in um, Morgantown, West Virginia. Um, and, um, you know, when I was younger, I, uh, was sexually abused. Um, and then when I was around 24, um, I was raped. Um, and then, um, some, um, you know, I got thrown into being a single mom, um, for 17 years. Um, during, um, about 12 of those years, I worked as, um, um, in law enforcement, I'm a public safety officer. Um, I got married and moved to Michigan. And when I moved here, um, I had um, an incident happen at work and it caused me to have a brain injury. Um, and so going through all of those things, um, I was like, you know, I've seen a lot of younger people um, having suicide and that was like where they thought their options were. And it was just very sad for me. So I decided that um, someone has to start speaking. Someone has to like speak up for what's going on and, and take that mental stigma away. And so if that means that I have to go and start sharing my story to let people know that maybe what they're feeling or what they're going through is, is okay. And there's people out there that want to help you and, you know, that care. So, um, I was never a fan of TikTok um, because I've never used it. Not that I, I, you know, was against it. I just never used it. Um, But I started going on TikTok um, and making videos of my own journey and struggle with PTSD. And um, it, you know, the response from that was amazing. Um, The people, you know, just reached out and was so kind and, and loving. And I was hearing individuals talk about how they wish that they had a place that they could share their story. So it could, you know, maybe open doors to have conversations with, with either their, their family, um, because their family didn't know of things that were happening. Yeah. Um, so that's where Empowering You came from. Um, and so we started um, just doing a show May 1st, because May is Mental Health Awareness. Mm-hmm. And so we started um, the TikTok show, <laughs> um, Empowering You 3 is what it's called. Um, and uh, it's been doing amazing. It's been, it's been great. Individuals come on and they share, you know, what they've been through in life and, and you know, their mental health and uh, where they are now in life, you know, just in hopes to be, you know, that um, 
inspiration or what someone out there needs to hear that they're not alone and, and to keep to keep going. So right. Been, so the the podcast is called Empowering You, right? Um, the podcast is Empowering You. Yep. Um, and on TikTok, the show is Empowering You Three. How do we find it? What, what, where on the podcast? When is it live? Tell us all about it. Yes. So as I, um, um, wealthy women enter, um, entrepreneurs network, um, we'll be taking the show live, uh, next month. So right now you can find us on TikTok on Wednesdays at, um, three o'clock and you would just go to empowering you three. Um, and that's where the show is right now. Perfect. This is exciting. Well, thank you for sharing (laughs) all this. And now tell us, so thank you for also, you know, telling us a little bit about your personal background and experience. And I know a lot of us have overgone. I think everyone listening today, I think everyone, I don't think anyone's immune to, uh, you know, to, to hurt, to trauma, to all this. Um, And so it just makes us, I think, stronger who we are. Look, and it turned you into helping all these people. Now, what were you in this line of business originally, or were you doing something else? And to share that little journey about how you decided to, hey, I could use this to start empowering and helping people. Yeah. So, um, you know, I worked in um, public safety prior. Um, and then when I got injured um, and um, dealing with my brain injury, I started realizing um, a lot more of people struggling with mental health and they just didn't have a place to go. Like they had no one to talk to or people would not believe them. Um, And then, you know, they were turning to suicide and I was just like, this is not okay. Like Mm. someone needs to talk. So, you know, that's how I started, um, you know, empowerment um, journey and empowering you was I wanted to help people. I wanted them to know that there's someone who does care and someone that will help you and here's a place that you can come and and we can, you know, work through what you're going through. Um, And for those that, you know, want it to start the conversation or want it to share, because, you know, sharing sometimes does help, you know, with the healing process. Um, So that's where Empowering You came in. And, you know, again, the response from TikTok was way more than I ever expected, but I, I love it. And I'm glad that it's reaching the right people. Beautiful. All right. Well, let's talk a little bit now in detail about the, some of the services that you are offering. Would you mind, um, you know, breaking it down for us and how you're helping people specifically? Yeah. So um, a lot of um, the struggle is, you know, daily life, right? Um, yeah. And it's even harder when you have, you're dealing with something, you know, mental health wise. So um, our program that we have, it's um, tailored to each individual because, you know, someone who is suffering from PTSD is not going to have the same symptoms as someone, um, you know, the symptoms are not the same straight across the board. It depends on what your trauma was. Mm -hmm. So um, I wanted to be able to um, help um, everyone that, you know, had like a mental health and not just focus on like, oh, so um, you, you know, were domestic violence, right? So, um, that's the only people that I focus on. I didn't want to do that. Um, I knew the need was for straight across the board, whether it was abuse, domestic violence, you know, um, yeah, whatever, whatever it was. So I um, have, you know, a six to eight week program tailored to how their needs are um, and what um, they need to accomplish and what they want to work on. Um, we do um, weekly goals and we have a big goal. You know, for me, my big goal would have been like being able to stay home alone. Um, but I would have had to work through little goals weekly to get to that big goal. So um, in the program, we work on those. Um, and we have um, like a journal that they write down things that trigger them um, and why they, you know, that word or, or whatever triggered them. And then we work through that. Um, and then we talk about what they can do when they, they get triggered. Yeah. Um, so um, and then there's, you know, you get the one-on-one coaching with me. And then we also yeah. just offer one-on-one coaching for those who don't don't really want the program but they just want someone you know to walk them through like certain things so um that's that's what impairing um and yeah journey is well, thank you for this. And I know you, you know, you've shared a little bit about your own journey, obviously. Um, now without, you know, saying, you know, mentioning one's names, could you share some of the people that you're working with and how this program has helped empower them and, and, and change their lives? Uh, would you mind giving us some details about how it works and maybe some specific stories of someone without, you know, using their name? Oh, right. Yes. Um, so, you know, one of, one of my clients, um, was, going through a divorce. 
and um, her husband, well, soon to be ex-husband, didn't know that she was struggling um, from things that took place to her when when she was younger. Mm -hmm. Um, And so because her husband didn't know, um, she would respond to him a certain way. And that, you know, created like that, that big friction there and what was leading them to a divorce. And so um, when I started working with her, you know, um, we would talk about things and and ways for her to have, you know, the conversation. And she didn't want to have that conversation with him because she felt like he was going to, you know, judge her or not treat her the same or think she was like, um, not, you know, as amazing as she is, yep. you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, all those feelings that go, that go into to sharing with people that, that didn't know. So, um, we were able to actually get her husband and come in, um, for a zoom, um, and do like a, a little talk and she was able to open up to him and share with him what was going on. And so, um, thankfully after he realized, you know, that there was more happening and it wasn't something that she was just being mean or vicious about, you know, um, and, he wanted to help her, you know, get the help that, that she needed so she could get better and be healthier. Um, and they were able to resolve things and, and keep their marriage going. So, you know, that's, that's just one of my clients. And, and there was another one who was contemplating suicide. Um, wow. And I, you know, they just felt alone. And like, you know, they were, you know, the people that did know didn't believe them, um, you know, and they would get like uh, comments made to them. And, and so it was like, hmm. you know what, this is, this is not okay. And let's, let's move forward from here. And let's, overcome these obstacles together and I think just that individual having someone that believed in them and that listened to them made them feel like some value you know and important and so that's what kept them in the fight and that's what kept them moving and and now they know they know better and they're they're out there having a a happy healthy life and they they check in you know just to see you know um, how I'm doing and and I want to see how they're doing so you know that's just a couple of my clients but it's just amazing to see the transformation take place. Oh, I love hearing these stories and beautiful. Um, at this time, uh, we're halfway through. Remind us again, all the ways we can contact you, a website, phone number, social media, anything you want to share. Thank you. Yeah. So um, Wealthy Women Entrepreneurs Network, um, you could reach me there. Um, you can reach me um, on TikTok, Empowering You 3. Um, you can call me at 260-901-0283. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook at Latasha Henry. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right. So for today's show, uh, um, and just to work th- through this, you do live Zoom calls, right? So you're able to work with people all over. Correct. Yes. That's how I do my coaching, actually, is even with people in Michigan, I, I just do it over Zoom. Um, that way I have the recording and we can go back and look how their progress is. Got it. Well, what would you say is the benefit of working with you and how working with someone not only certified, but has also struggled mental health is easier to connect with? Could you just share a little more about that? Yeah. So I know um, my clients have talked about how it's easier to interact with someone who has, you know, either, you know, mental health or has suffered some kind of trauma because they actually do get it. They do get it and they understand really what they're going through versus someone who maybe hasn't, but, you know, they have that certification or whatnot. So um, before I started working, I wanted to make sure I got that certification and and I took those courses and did what I needed to do to be certified. And, you know, I, I understand, I get it and I can show them what worked for me and what didn't work for me and apply different things to to get them to have a healthy, um, happier life. Well, thank you for sharing that. And what else for today did you want to, uh, you know, enlighten your listeners with about the work you're doing and the people you're helping through your, your coaching? Yeah. So I I think what I I just want everyone to hear is that, you know, um, if you are going through something, if you are struggling uh, I promise you are not alone and, and there are people out there that care and you are valued and loved and please reach out. Um, if it's if it's not to me, then someone else that, that you feel you can speak with, just know there's help out there. So um, just, you know, lean on, lean on that help and you will get to see the other side of that tunnel. Oh, I love it. Oh, got goosebumps here. Um, you know, and, you know, what do you love most about the work that you do? Um, I love seeing the transformation take place, um, and taking someone from like their lowest point, um, and sorry, this is, um, from like their lowest point and seeing them grow and, and become the person that they've been trying to be, but they just didn't have that support or that, 
someone was believing in them and they didn't think they could be that person. So just just seeing that and um, being a part of that is just um, so rewarding and just so amazing to me. Oh, thank you for sharing that. All right. And so now I know you mentioned the coaching program. Uh, or is it, you know, how do you, do you offer like an initial discovery call? Um, you know, how does it work? How do you figure out what they need? Does everyone need the six to eight weeks or is there different programs? Is there group coaching at all? Yeah. So um, when they call and I do like the free consultation call with them, we'll dive into what they're wanting to do. Like everyone has something different that they, they want to accomplish. Um, and, you know, everyone is, you know, at a different spot in their journey with it. So some people really just want the coaching. They just want to have coaching and that's it. Um, there are others that just are starting um, and they're just like dealing with the trauma. And so that's are the ones that go to like the program and, you know, we work like more closer with them. We do more one-on-one coaching. Um, we do have um, a group coaching, but um, a lot of my clients prefer to wait um, until they get through the program um, just because, you know, they're, they're learning to not um, feel shy about what they're going through. So until they're able to establish that, they're, they're very much just wanting to talk with me. And that is, that is perfectly fine as well. All right. Thank you so much. We still have more time, obviously. What else do you think is important for your listeners to get to know about you here today? Oh, to get to know them. I think I mentioned that I was a mom, right? Um, uh, no, so no. I, I, well, I, do you mind mind sharing? I didn't know if you wanted to share your personal background. So please, oh, thank you. Yeah, yes, yeah. No. Yes, no, I am a mom. I have three beautiful children, which oh, is wow. where empowering you three come from. <laughs> um, and so um, they are um, like, uh, yeah, my daughter is going to nursing school. She has one year left. Um, right. My middle child, which is um, a, a boy, um, he just finished um, full, like uh, uh, a program to get his mechanic um, license. And so he got, you know, he has those now. Um, and then I have my six-year-old who is just getting ready to finish kindergarten. So it's it's been a fun journey. Uh, but my kids are definitely the backbone to me at, at sometimes. I get. It. I have a seven and nine-year-old, two boys myself. So first and third grade, a little young, but uh, you live for them, right? You love them. You just ah, uh, I always wanted to be a mom, and as hard as it is, and. I probably complain almost every day how hard it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is the most rewarding thing in the world. There's nothing more to life, uh, honestly. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, and, you know, could I ask you who, did you have anyone that you looked up to that you mentored? Um, you know, uh, <laughs> there are um, a lot of individuals that, that played different parts in my life. Um, I, I know my mom um, went through some things and so, seeing the things that she um, went went through um, and hearing the things that, that she did. And then, you know, she was a single mom for a little period of time. Um, so, you know, as weird as it might sound, other than my kids, because my kids really helped me through a lot of things, um, <laughs> you know, my, my mom. Oh. Well, also, um, you know, in the work you're doing, you're helping so many and there's a lot of struggle. I know, I think it's, it's, well, there's a lot of them, but I think this is May. This is Mental Health um, Awareness Month, isn't it? It is. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that is exactly why I started May 1st with the show. Yes. All right. All right good. So um, what other types of mental health issues uh, are we dealing with? Uh, you know, your clients, what are some of the things out there? You know, let me just ask this question. Do you notice an uptick in this mental health uh, dilemma, whether it's anxiety, stress, or what other forms of trauma there is since like the pandemic, could you share your journey with that? What happened and what have you seen in, in your clients? Yeah. So, um, yes, um, there have been more of, um, people coming, you know, coming forward with what they had struggled with. And I think a lot of that is due to the pandemic. Everybody was just, you yeah. know, secluded with each other. Right. And so, mm -hmm. um, people were starting to see more of, you know, whether it be the kids, the husband, the wife, or, you know, grandma, whatever. Um, and so, you know, certain behaviors started forming that maybe they didn't see before because they were able to go somewhere, you know, leave the situation. So um, I, I do think that, it, you know, a lot of people were able to recognize and, and see things. And, and so, um, you know, being under the stress of having your kids not going yeah. to school um, and trying to figure all that out, right? Um, yeah, I, I have a lot of individuals that, you know, just need and that's you know what they want just the coaching for to help them get back 
school they used to be before the pandemic because, you know, a lot of people just went into like a, a deep depression. Um, and so, yeah, um, I, you know, mental health is hard and, and people just don't want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about it. Um, they feel like if they do, then people aren't going to value them as much. Um, and so then they handle the struggle on their own. Um, and so, you know, then that's where suicide comes in um, for the most part. So um, just trying to break that stigma, just trying to get people to understand that just because someone might be struggling mentally does not make them like um, incapable of doing other things. It doesn't make them like, yeah. you know, not as good as the next person. Right. Um, so just trying to get everyone to, you know, a, a clearer picture of, of mental health and, and what it actually is and what people are going through instead of like, you know, they're not good enough. Right. Um, mm -hmm. so that's, that's really what, um, I hope people start doing is talking, just talk because it will change a lot and you will learn a lot. It's so true. I mean, I feel like we, it's, it's been out there a lot more and, uh, you know, unfortunately, unfortunately hearing like celebrities talk about their mental health, but I feel like that has trickled down to us, the normal people like, Hey, it's okay. You know, look, these people, you would never think suffer from a mental illness and issues. And it's like, wow, but they have this, they have that. And it's like, okay, maybe this really is something for e everyone that we, we're dealing with. So it makes you feel a little better knowing that we're not alone. I feel it's just a little more, it's widely more acceptable, right? <laughs> Right. And so, you know, a lot of people, unfortunately, live in this world of, of fakeness, right? Like, they feel like they have to, like, um, be the glamorous, be the most beautiful. And if anything's wrong with them, then it's not right. Um, so I think, you know, yes, when celebrities Hollywood started, like, talking more about, like, what they were actually truly dealing with, it resonated with a lot of people deeper because they were like, oh, it is okay. Like, it, it, that's fine, right? Because, again, nobody wants to talk about it. Um, so I'm um, I, I think that just hearing celebrities actually do have things going on in their life, right? Like it's not the picture perfect of glamorous yeah. and, and beautiful constantly. Um, it did, it did help people to, to realize, so I am normal. I am okay. And then to start talking a little bit. Right. Mm -hmm. And I just think that conversation needs to continue. It just needs to be more. It needs to continue. And, and, you know, people just need to hear they're okay. And what you're going through, you know, someone else has went through either the same thing or something similar. And so let's have that conversation. Let's talk and see how we can, can get you to where you know that you're okay. Thank you. All right. And in our last few minutes here together, how did you kind of want to leave off with everyone uh, for today about why we should reach out and, and make the time and, you know, knowing you're not alone, it's a good thing. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, that is that is definitely the most important. And, you know, if if you are just finding that you don't have that support, right, or if you're just finding that um, you want to be um, a happy, healthier version of yourself, I, I don't think people understand the toll that mental health takes on individuals. Yeah. Um, and, like, your health really does suffer, like, it truly does. And so, you know, if you feel that, hey, you know what, I need, I need to get better here, or I need to be a better version, and I have to deal with this in order to get there, then then please reach out, like, let us help you, let us get you to that point that you want to be so you can be the happy version that you want to be. Um, and, you know, start living the life that you've been dreaming about doing that, that maybe you're not doing right now, because you can't get through certain obstacles or whatnot, like, just you know, yeah. again, even if it's not to me, reach out, get that support um, and know that you are loved and valued. Oh, well, thank you for sharing that. And let's remind everyone again how we can contact you, please. Oh, yes. So Wealthy Women Entrepreneurs Network, um, you can um, find me there. Um, you can find me the show um, Empowering You 3 on TikTok. You can find me on Facebook, um, Latasha Henry. Um, or you can call um, 260-901-0283. Perfect. All right. Well, um, also, um, we want to thank you for being here today and for, you know, sharing uh, all this, your background, your personal journey, struggles, uh, and um, now how you're taking something, you know, that has hurt you and harmed you in a sense. You turned into something beautiful by helping so many. And as a mom, God bless you and your family. And when can we see the next podcast, by the way? When is, when is that on and where can we see it? Don't forget to tell us that. Oh, yes. Yeah. So Wednesday at 3 o'clock um, on TikTok is the show. Right. And then I'll be moving to a podcast hopefully in June. So, All right. Um, Great. All right. Thank you again for being here. Pleasure getting to know you, you today and looking forward to next time we connect. Have a great day. Yes, thank you so much. You too. 
Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knock down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's. It's going to be okay. 